Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Peter. Today I'm going to prepare Argentinian style beef empanadas. I have the ingredients. I have 80-20 ground beef. I have three tablespoons of ground cumin. I have two tablespoons of uh, paprika, one tablespoon of dry oregano, of, uh, about a teaspoon of cayenne and a pinch of sugar. Here I have uh, two medium red peppers chopped up and I have two medium red peppers, I'm sorry that's a, two red onions that are chopped up and I have two medium red bell peppers that have been seeded and chopped up. I have um, two cups of beef stock, some olive oil, and I have everything I need right here. I'll make the dough a little bit later today. This has to actually cook and it has to sit in the refrigerator for three hours before we uh, prepare it. So let's get started. So our first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brown the ground beef for about six to eight minutes. We're going to use a wooden spoon so that we don't scrape up our, our vessel. And once this is done, after six to eight minutes, we'll leave, we'll take the beef out and we'll leave the fat in and then we'll saute the vegetables with the spices here. Okay. So all the beef has been taken out. I left the fat from the beef inside the skillet. And now what I'm gonna do is brown the red onions and the red bell pepper. And the fat from the uh, beef. So I'll stir this around, saute this until everything is nice and soft. The onions you can see through and we turn this down to a medium heat now so we don't burn anything so before we cook the beef on medium high we're going to cook this on kind of a medium all right so our veggies our onions and our red peppers have been cooking for about six minutes as you can see you can pretty much see through the onions so that's when you know they're done so now we'll add all of our spices. We have our cumin. We have our paprika, our dry oregano, and our cayenne. We're going to put everything in except the sugar. We're going to save that for later. Get all that in there. All right. Okay, this looks like it's pretty much fully incorporated and mixed together. I'll add our beef stock. Two cups. I'm going to put in a little salt to taste. This is kosher salt. We'll mix that all up. And now we add that little pinch of sugar. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes or so. And our filling for our beef empanadas has uh, cooked down and most of the liquid, the beef stock has evaporated. So we're good to go. We could turn this off now. And now we're gonna let put this in a bowl and we'll put it in the refrigerator for about three hours. You have to put it in a minimum of three hours, let it chill, and then um, take it out, let it kind of get to room temperature when you're ready to prepare your empanadas. So once we pulse that, you want it to get, look like really fine little crumbs, coarse crumbs. Turn this off, let's see. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's what we want. Okay. 
So now we'll take this, put it into a bowl. Let's get everything out of here. And then we'll just form it like this. Grab everything like that. Get a nice flaky ball. There we go. We'll wrap this up, put it in the fridge, and then we'll let it chill for about an hour before we use it. Okay, my dough has been in the refrigerator for an hour, wrapped up in plastic. I've taken it out, put it on my chef's board. It's a marble board with some flour on it. I have my rolling pin, also with some flour so it doesn't stick. I rolled out a couple. I'm going to do them really thin, as thin as I can, so I don't waste the dough. So I'll roll it out. Push it out to the edge. Looks really flaky. That butter chopped up really nicely and uh, incorporated in there is going to make it really, really flaky crust. I bake these. I don't fry them. That's the way my wife likes them, so I do them the way she likes them. The oven's been heating at 400 degrees. So I'm going to use this old ice cream container and there we have one it's okay if it's broken a little bit try and get as close to the edge as possible and then twist like that and boom another one and then I'll get one more out of here There we go. Okay, so we have our, our dough that's been cut into thin circles. I have my filling that's been in the refrigerator resting for about three hours and I let it out, um, took it out, let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, I have my egg washed that I'm gonna use to brush over this and also to help seal the um, empanada. So, what I'll do first is take a little bit on my fingertips and just go around the edges. You could use a brush too, but I like to use my fingers a lot and then get a spoonful. You don't want to put a whole lot because you don't want it to overflow. Seal it, fold it over, use your fork to push down on the edges and close it off just like that. Just push down, push and pull, push and pull out just like that. So again, a little bit of egg around the outside. Good little portion to put in the middle. You don't want it to overflow again, so fold it over. This may be a little bit much, but let's see. See if we can make it work. Push with the fork to seal it. Push. It's probably a little bit too much in this one, which I do all the time, but it's okay. It's still edible. So again, egg wash. Around the outside. And I'll put this in the middle. Fold over and use your fork push together. Get back in there. Close that up. 
close it up. All right, so we have the filling inside of our dough. We have brushed it with um, egg wash on the outside and we sealed it with a fork. Some look good, some don't. These last few look really good. As you can see, I was getting my, uh, getting my mojo on at the end. I was getting them a little nice little um, pattern of ones the way that they're supposed to look. This is how they look in the beginning. Of course, I don't do these all the time, but once you get them down and get a nice little system going, uh, they'll start looking more like this. So this is our test batch. Trust me, they'll all be eaten tonight. <laughs> we're gonna have some champagne in a little bit, and we're gonna have these beef empanadas. My wife is in the backyard right now on a, a Zoom call doing happy hour with her girlfriend. So I'm gonna make these and throw them in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes at 400 degrees. And set our timer for 25, and we'll be back and see what they look like. Okay, so I picked out my best looking empanadas and I'm doing a mushroom butter sauce with some mushrooms and a little bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you pronounce it. So I'll take those and then just dribble that butter and the mushrooms right over the top for a little sauce. What the heck is Friday? Put it all over. Cheers. <laughs> 